And welcome back to Sister Circle Live. This Hollywood legend yes. has been in classic mm. films uh -huh. like Eve's Bayou and a thin line between love and hate. Mm. And I welcome <laughs> this beautiful woman here yes. to the table with us to go oh. a little bit more in depth <laughs> with the iconic Lynn Whitfield. Do you know that you are iconic, Lo? I, does that mean... I have so much more to do. I'm no, that doesn't like, mean you're done. No, I know. That just no, but I, I, so yes. I never <laughs> think of that. I just drink. I just love telling stories. Okay. Yeah. So, but thank you for that. You're welcome. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You, go ahead, Selena. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> I just, I just, I just love on you all day, but I got to let other people talk. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> Speaking of stories, um, Angela Bassett was down to the Instagram, honey, talking about her her health regimen mm -hmm. and all the things that she does and she was just very adamant i don't do dairy i don't do cheese i don't do I this i saw that she was going in on the people and i work out okay then and i do yoga on saturdays what is your regimen what do you do to stay this beautiful through all the work that you do that is so sweet first of all thank you for a compliment like that well, you're welcome yes. i wish that i was as regimented and i'm getting there you know mm -hmm. always a work in progress mm -hmm. <laughs> but I find it really important to at intervals juice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and go with everything green mm -hmm. and get away from it, you know a lot of protein a lot of carbs mm -hmm. and the like mm -hmm. I live in a neighborhood where I can walk mm -hmm. so I've been walking and now I'm about to get back to my Pilates mm -hmm. so I don't do enough I mean I was so impressed with Angela's mm -hmm. regiment, I, and it made me, it inspired me. Yes. Yes. I promise I'm going to do better. <laughs> yes. I'm going to do it. <laughs> and you know, I think it's really important in terms of who, we, the, the exfoliating yes. is really important. Yeah. And keeping a pretty clean colon. Yes. Yes. That yes. is very yes. important. Yes. And sleep. Yes. You probably get a lot of sleep. Lot of sleep. <laughs> I am the worst sleeper. You're the worst sleeper? God, really? please. I was so oh, excited <laughs> about our premiere day and coming on your show. It was like, okay, God, it's 1 o'clock. It's 1.30. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to get my, I did my Louisiana woman thing. Mm -hmm. I got out my turmeric. Yes. 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 And turmeric. my almond milk. Ginger. And I put it all together. I'm a little honey. Yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. the next thing I knew, I woke myself up with some noise that we'd never call anything unattractive. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just light, yes. whispers, but yes. what else? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ms. Whitfield, you've been in Hollywood for a really long time, and it's really hard to navigate through Hollywood. Mm -hmm. So what do you attribute your staying power to? All right. I, God, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. keeping me calm. And here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I think it's really important that you, it, it's hard for me to do what I do without having my heart available to me. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. And so if I allow the disappointments and the setbacks and the labyrinth of, you know, staying in this mm -hmm. for these years, if I allow it to make me like feel in some kind of way right. or something <laughs> like that, and I'd be like, why are you looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I have to have my heart and my soul available to these characters. Yes. Yes. So I pretty much think it's, from um, doing the work. Yes. Mm. I think it's the, the art form itself yeah. that people come back to. Homework. You know, like I was so grateful, you know, that Oprah said, oh, no, this has got to be, mm -hmm. Lynn, Lynn has got to do this part. Mm -hmm. So, you know, every now and then, <laughs> they'll come back and say, you know, no, we need to, this girl needs to do this thing. Mm -hmm. And so I really think it's it's just, Telling the stories mm -hmm. in a way that hopefully will be memorable no, yeah. they are and classic mm -hmm. and stand the test of time. Yes. yes. Like you. Classic. Yeah. Classic. Yeah. Yeah. Standing the test of time. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's what she said. Yes. Yeah. 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 But it's really so true. <laughs> well, Lynn, I want to talk to you a little bit. I recently sat down with Regina King and we talked about um, the roles and the narratives that's been created for African American women in Hollywood. Let's take a look. I think that. They are true to who we are because we are so layered. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Even if they're a little fantasy, um, we still believe that um, black women can do anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So while maybe the storyline may not be 
rooted in truth, it is wonderful and fantastic to see us not be the wife or the best friend. Mm. 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 And what do you think of that? Well, I think it's a really exciting time mm -hmm. right now for stories, be it, you know, we always have to suspend belief in the, in this. Mm -hmm. You know, you start from the truth and then we have to entertain. It's called entertainment. It is. And so it we is. have to entertain people, but to, just to see what Shonda Rhimes has done yes. in terms of, of creating amazing roles and what happened with, you know, Black Panther, yes, yes. how amazing is that? Mm -hmm. So I think the stories have improved tremendously mm -hmm. and now they just have to get to the point that women of a certain age are having hot romances Ooh, really? with lots of fun and mm -hmm. lots of humor yes. and things like that. Oh, yes. We haven't yes. quite gotten go to, the delight, the table. to the delight of, you know, just people holding on to their passion, you know because we have it like that. Mm -hmm. You know, from uh, the, the, the diaspora, I mean, from, you know, Nigeria to, mm -hmm. you know, to, to, to South Africa, mm -hmm. to Jamaica, mm -hmm. to, you look everywhere, we have it swag. like that. Yes. We, swag have, we have the swag and we have the passion and we have the heat <laughs> and we have the complexity. Yes, and true. so I just really want to keep that going. Yes. You know, as I just tiptoe into wherever there is. I want yes. to keep that going. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh God, please. <laughs> <laughs> the incomparable Lynn Whitfield, everybody. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much for joining us today, and a big congratulations. Thank you for having me. Greatly. And thanks yes. again to your wonderful castmates, yes. Keith David and Meryl Dandridge, for joining us wonderful? as well. Yeah. Make yeah. sure you catch it tonight, Greenleaf, 10 p.m. Eastern on OWN. Yay! <laughs>